Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardway. And uh, I've had a couple of phone discussions about this thing right here the last couple of days, and we feel we do a video on it. You know, if you've been messing with pigs, you know, the worst thing, that you, the biggest ordeal with them is loading them on a trailer. And we watch other YouTube videos, and people just seem to, to not get it. And we're going to try to show you something right here to help you. This is a portable load sheet. Now, if you watch my other videos, we show you how to do the, the transfer sheets, loading sheets around your pens. But we have to work other people's pigs, and a lot of times they don't have facilities. They don't have anything fixed. They got them in a two-acre pasture, no way to catch them, no way to pin them up, no catch pins, no shoots, no nothing. So we built this. Now, this is built out of scrap, like everything else I ever built. And it's sitting on a pallet. It's sitting on a pallet. We finally put wheels on the front of it the other day. Um, now this one is three foot wide to accommodate any door width on most trailers. One of my small trailers has a swing, has a swinging door instead of a sliding door. But anywhere from 24 to 36 inches wide. You need the sides at least three and a half foot. This one's about, it may be seven foot long. Because what is built out over old shelf racks. And it works pretty good. And if you have multiple hog pins, you only have to build one of these and it'll work with any pin. Now I'm going to let her walk over there. We'll cut the camera off. And I'll show you the panels we make to go with this. Where you can put up a temporary catch pin and a te temporary sheet. This is a seven foot piece. Just a piece of scrap we use to make a catch panel with. If you have hog panel fences or cow panel fences, you can take one of these and jam it up against a post and wire it to the fence. And then you can jam pigs against the side of the fence to give them shocks, like a squeeze shoe. This one's made with three quarter inch square tubing. Like I said, it's only seven foot. But it works really good in these little square pins we use. Now, to make ones for a loading sheet, you can do the same thing. I'd recommend making them out of one inch tubing. And you see the brace in it. The three quarter is lighter. So if weight's a big issue, you can use the three quarter, but a big hog can't bend that. A big hog, big six, seven hundred pound sow, they can bend this. What you do is you drive a big T post in the ground. It's, better. it's the easiest way to do it. Um, you put a little square catch pin, you use one of them for the gate, you get them in it, and then you take them out up the chute, and you can set all this up, you can set it on your trailer, your flatbed truck, take it wherever you need it. But maybe that'll help you a little bit, um, you know, like we have several, this is a, what we have normally, as she'll show you here, has to ramp up to the trailer. And this goes to every pin in this block. So you can move pigs around. And this makes, it, makes life a whole lot easier. But anyway, I told a lot of people I'd show them what I had built. Maybe it'll help you. I'm going to let her go up there again. And kind of walk around that. Well, now I don't have blueprints. I don't have a plan when I build anything. I, I get an idea in my head. And whatever scrap metal is laid on the floor around me that might work. Uh, you see the board on that, we put it on to make it a little taller. That's the only reason it's there, is to make it a little taller is the easiest way to do it. Those wheels came from a yard sale. I do have hairpin clips, winch pin clips, and the axles, which the axle is just a bolt with a hole drilled in. But uh, I did put those on, so if when you set up, if you need to, you just pull the wheels off easy. Or you can just take a shovel and scoop one shovel of dirt out and set it on the ground. We've used it many times, it works pretty good. The narrower the chute is, the better, but like I said, we had to build that one as wide as it is to accommodate a swinging gate on my little truck. And I've been going to change it to a sliding gate for 20 years and I ain't done it, so apparently we never will do it. It works, works okay like it is, but sliding doors are better on hog trailers than swinging doors. Maybe they'll help you a little bit. Remember, you can do all this stuff, but you never plow a field turned over in your mind. So if you want to do it, you got to get them to do it. And I'll let her walk that around that real slow so you can get a look. It doesn't have to be built just like that. It can be plywood sides, angle iron frame with plywood sides. 
however you want to build it, but it'll give you the idea. The lighter would probably be the better. Uh, normally we move that one with a bobcat, but sometimes you do have to tweak it by hand. So we put those wheels on it. I think that was uh, probably necessary. And I would suggest, which, you know, tires with air in them roll a whole lot better, especially inside the hog pen. But I got a suspicion it'd be like everything else around here with air in a tire. It'll be flat every time you go to it. So we went with the side with wheels, plus we had them. My wife goes to the yard sales, they're probably a dollar. So we used them. But anyway, we're going to walk around it, let you get a good look at it. Like I said, I'm sorry, I don't do blueprints, I don't do plans. I just don't do that. I don't even do it for myself. We fabricate stuff professionally, and I don't even have plans for that most of the time. You tell me how wide you want it, how tall you want it, what you want to do, and we'll build it. But anyway, take a look at it. It's a good idea. Might help you, and I appreciate it. You wanted to be really cool with it, you can make this adjustable where you can change the height. And honestly, you can make it twice this long and twice this high and use it for caster. Give that a good, good look. I need to step back a little bit. Good enough. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.